name is Tyler Clevenger, and I'm here today in association with Southwind Drum and Bugle Corps. I'm a percussion educator based in Noonan, Georgia, and in addition to private instruction, I'm the percussion coordinator for East Coweta High School in Sharpsburg, Georgia. I'm the audio technician and marching percussion consultant for Jones County High School in Gray, Georgia, and I'm also available as a marching percussion arranger. Today I'm here on behalf of Southwind's front ensemble staff to discuss two mallet grip for keyboard percussion. Let's get started. So first things first, where do we hold the mallet? Well, the honest answer, like a lot of things in percussion, is it depends what feels good and what sounds good. But a good general rule is to start about a third of the way up the mallet, wrap your index finger around the first joint, the pad of the thumb connected to that, that perch there, wrap the fingers around, and there's the grip. You want it to be nice and firmly in the hand, not at the fingertips, okay? Uh, so you have more surface area for better control. There's no tension here. There's just enough finger pressure uh, to control the mallet in whatever way we need for whatever music we're playing. Um, you have three primary points of contact here. Uh, first off, we have just our middle, just regular default neutral point of contact, which would be about middle, middle of the hand between the ring and middle fingers. Uh, and ideally, you want um, equal finger contribution for this grip, okay? Nice in the middle, in the middle of the hand. Uh, you also have the back point of contact, the back fulcrum, back finger fulcrum you're going to hear a lot of in the marching arts uh, because it allows you to utilize more of the length and weight of the mallet uh, so you have maximum sound production. Okay? Uh, just be careful with the back grip that you're not extending that middle index finger out which would restrict rebound and shifting and also creates tension in the hand and wrist uh, which chokes the mallet which ultimately chokes off your sound production. Um, you also have your front point of contact, the front fulcrum, the perch up here. Just like choking up on a baseball bat for a shorter, quicker swing, this front fulcrum allows you to use a little less of the mallet, which makes it ideal for those lightning fast runs that we all love so much. The thing to watch for with this front fulcrum is that you're not releasing the back fingers, which causes a loss of control, which is usually compensated for by squeezing that front grip, which is actually going to work against you when you're talking about playing fast rhythms at any high tempos. Okay, so just finger pressure, whatever's appropriate for the moment. Now, xylophone and bells. It's a shorter, generally shorter, lighter mallet. So what changes? Not much. You still want those same points of contact, um, but you are able to use a, a lighter approach, a, a less finger pressure, or just a lighter touch, which is just another way of saying finger pressure, right? Um, to achieve the same control, because it's, you don't have as much weight. Ultimately though, that brings me to my final point, you want to let your ear be your guide. This is a, You want musicianship to be your guiding force in anything you do in percussion because so much can depend on the music you're playing, the mallets you have available to you, who you're playing with, uh, what the venue you're, is that you're performing in. Um, and different instructors have different schools of thought on um, how to approach all of that. So approaching things with your ear, what feels good and what sounds good, can also make you a more versatile and more flexible player in an ensemble setting when it comes to school bands, universities, uh, trying out for drum corps and indoor ensembles, uh, anything that would require you to be uh, willing to adapt to uh, what's going on around you. What is paramount is to follow your ears more than anything else. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please feel free to visit the core website at www.southwind.org for more information on how to register for the DCI season coming up in 2021. Uh, please also follow my personal pages, uh, my artist page at Facebook, uh, Tyler Clevenger, Percussion Educator and Designer, and also on Instagram, at Percussion for more tips for your percussion journey as I fill out content on those pages. Um, again, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and we'll see you on the next video.